Today I'm going to be showing you the first things to do when you get the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your watch and how to use all of the best features that you should set up right away. This video is going to show you everything you need to know to be using your Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 to the best of its abilities from the moment that you put it on your wrist. Let's get started with today's video, the first things to do when you get the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. So first things first, let's go ahead and connect our watch to our smartphone so it's all set up and ready to be used to its maximum potential. So uh, we're going to open up the Galaxy wearable application. If you're using a Samsung device, this application will already be installed on your smartphone. But if not, just go to the App Store and download Galaxy wearable. Once inside, we're going to swipe up to get started. And now we're just going to select the device that we are connecting. So in this case, we're going to select the Galaxy Watch 3. And now right away, it's going to start searching uh, for our watch so we can get it connected. So as you see, it found my watch right away. Now I can check, click the check mark on both the watch and then click this connect button on my phone and they're going to connect uh, with each other right away. Just like that, our watch is now paired to our smartphone. You'll see it says congrats on your new Galaxy Watch 3. We're just going to click agree to these different terms, click allow. And then it's saying to use the Galaxy wearable app, you need to allow access to your location all the time. This is going to allow you to use all of its features. So I'm going to go into my settings and change this location permission to allowing it to work all the time. Now I can go ahead, click agree. And now finally, it's just going to check, it's going to ask uh, if you want to give your, your phone access to these different watch features. So we have the find my watch and find my phone, which I'm going to show you how to use later on in this video, but I definitely suggest you turn that on so you don't ever need to worry about losing your phone or your watch. The mapping technologies, and then I'm going to skip the diagnostic info and then some of this marketing information. It's up to you if you wanna allow those or not. Then we'll click next. Uh, I'm not going to restore my watch, but if you want to, you can do this on this page or you can do it at a later uh, point by going back into your settings application. But for now, I'm going to skip for now. And right away, we are all set. So our watch is now paired to our smartphone and we can get into the rest of this video where I'm going to be showing you how we can use our Galaxy Watch 3 to the best of its ability. One of the benefits to owning a smartwatch is your ability to check your notifications right from your wrist without having to constantly pull your phone out of your pocket to check up on any notifications. So that said, one of the first things you need to do when you get your watch three is set up your notification settings. So to do this, we're going to open the Galaxy wearable application and then we're going to select this notifications tab. Inside here, we're going to select see all notifications, and then I suggest you just toggle on all of these. So once these are toggled on, and to do that, you just select that switch until it turns orange to enable these features. Once they're all enabled, you're going to be receiving all of your notifications right from your watch three. Next, you're going to want to set up your custom watch face. So to do this right on your smartphone, rather than scrolling through all of the different options on your watch, we're going to open up the Galaxy wearable application. And then on the bottom of our display screen, just select watch faces. Once inside, you can take a look at just how many watch face options we have to choose from. And then once you find one that you like, I want to show you how we can customize it even further. So select it and then it's going to show up on the top of your screen and right next to that there's this customize button. So select the customize button and now you'll see we have multiple customization opportunities. So you can change the hands, the color of your watch face and then we have these two complication options here which is where we can get really specific with our watch face. So if you want your battery life to be shown on your watch face, you can select that. You have the weather options. You, there's even these that are specific to certain uh, activities like cycling or hiking. Uh, you can even get reminders on how much water you're drinking daily. So find one you like, select it, and you'll see that it's going to show up on the right side of the watch face. 
Now, each watch face has different customization options. Some have more than others. Uh, so play around with all the different watch faces to find one that includes the features that you want. Now I'm gonna set up my second complication. So I'll choose battery here. And that second one is going to show up on the inside of my watch face. So now that it's all done and I like the way this one looks, I'm going to click save. And you'll see right away, it already is set up on my watch just like that. It has the two uh, complications right here, the date and my battery life. And right away it transferred from my phone to my Galaxy Watch 3. Our Galaxy Watch 3 is equipped with an incredible emergency uh, feature that you want to set up right away. And to do so, we're going to go into the Galaxy wearable application and then just go to where it says SOS and select that. So once inside here to set up this emergency feature is really quick and easy. Just select this emergency contacts button and then you can choose uh, an emergency contact from your list of contacts. Once that's set up, you can enable this send SOS feature, which is going to automatically uh, send an SOS message or phone call whenever you press the home button three times quickly. If you're scared you're gonna ever accidentally press that button three times when you're not in a real emergency, you can select this countdown before sendings feature. So it's going to count down for five seconds where you have the ability to cancel that call uh, if you ever select the, if you ever hit that button three times by mistake. Lastly, you can enable uh, your watch to detect any falls. So if it, if it notices that you took a hard fall, it will immediately contact your emergency contact for you uh, just in case it's ever an emergency situation. It's an incredible feature. I definitely encourage you all set this up. Again, just go to the Galaxy wearable application and then to this SOS tab to quickly get your emergency feature set up and ready for use. I wanna take a quick break from our video to invite you to join this incredible application that's giving out millions of cash prizes just for answering quick and easy surveys. So if you wanna start earning real cash today just by taking these simple surveys, use the link in our, in our description or go to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash G-E-T-Q-U-I-C-K-T-H-O-U-G-H-T-S. Now, using this link is going to help support our channel, but more importantly, it's going to make sure that you get access to their best surveys that pay out the greatest rewards. Now, using that link is going to take you directly to the App Store, and if you look down here, you can see just some examples of the incredible, easy and simple surveys that are paying out real cash rewards. So go ahead, download Quick Thoughts, and then on the bottom left corner, click Sign Up, and it's a really fast and easy process to get signed up for Quick Thoughts, and then right away, you're going to be able to start answering these surveys and being rewarded with real cash rewards. So again, the link's down in the description, or go to bit.ly slash getquickthoughts to start earning real cash for taking easy surveys today. There's nothing worse than losing one of your devices, so I'm going to show you how we can use the Samsung Find My Watch and Find My Phone uh, applications so we don't need to worry about losing one of our devices. So on our watch, to use the Find My Phone, we're going to go to our applications and then select this application that has the magnifying glass on, on the icon. So this one here, we'll open that up, and when I click this Start button, it's going to start playing a loud noise on my phone, even if I have it on mute. So you'll see in one second when I press this button, it's going to play a loud noise. So you click the start, and you'll you'll see just like that right away when you press it, it's going to start playing that noise so you can locate your phone. But say your phone's in a different room or it's in a different location where you're unable to hear that sound, you can actually press these th three buttons right here the three dots, and it's going to locate your phone and give you an exact and precise location of where your phone is. It will show you on a map the location of your phone and can even give you directions to relocating that device. This works the other way around as well, so if you ever misplace your watch, we can use our phone to find our lost watch. So to do this, we're gonna open up the, the Galaxy Wearable application, and then scroll down to where you see Find My Watch. 
Once inside, the same applies where when we press the start button, it's going to start playing a loud noise on my watch so I can locate it. So I'll go ahead and press start. And to shut this noise off, we're just gonna take this X, the blue button, and swipe it over to the right once you locate your watch. Again, if you are out of range and you can't hear the noise coming out of your watch, you can select this Get Location button and it's going to show you the precise location of wherever you last left that watch. Now, I wanna take the time to quickly invite you to join our email newsletter, AppFind VIP, where we're going to be sending you the best mobile apps and mobile games directly to your email inbox each week. So to sign up, either use the link down in the description or just go to AppFind, appfindvip.com and we can get you signed up right away. Once you're signed up for AppFind VIP, you're automatically going to be entered into our AppFind giveaways where we're giving away free iTunes and Google Play gift cards to lucky winners every single month. So once you're on appfindvip.com, just enter your name, enter your email, and then you can choose if you wanna get just the best mobile apps, just the best mobile games, or both sent directly to your email inbox. It's completely free to join, and we can't wait to have you inside our email newsletter, AppFind VIP. If you ever need to capture a screenshot on your watch, all you need to do is just press the two side buttons like so, and it's going to capture a screenshot of whatever is on your watch's display screen. What I really like about this screenshot feature on our watch is how it will send that photo directly to your devices. You can also view uh, any of your screenshots right from your watch's photo gallery by going to your apps and then opening up the camera gallery. And then you'll be able to look at the different screenshots you have taken. And you can also just delete them right from here. When you delete the image on your watch, it will also delete it from your devices. Again, if you ever need to take a screenshot, you just press these two side buttons simultaneously and it's going to capture that image. I hope you found today's video valuable. This was the first things to do when you get the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more great content coming out soon. And I also want to remind you to sign up for our email newsletter, AppFind VIP, by using the link down in the description or going to appfindvip.com. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.